Yeah, yeah, that's right. The bait's in the same cooler, cooler with the food. Deal with it. I'll use that for the first one. Big fish bait there. I'm gonna do a little uh, double hook rig here, a couple of small pieces instead of one big piece. And that's gonna be the rig there. Two of my lines are gonna have Carolina rigs, just straight up Carolina rigs, sinker on a slide. I think I've got a five ouncer on there today because it's windy. Probably a foot long leader, four aught wide gap hook on this one with the tailpiece. And this third line is basically the same rig, sinker on a slide down to about the same leader, except for I just got two smaller hooks and two smaller baits instead of a, a bigger hook and a bigger bait. I think this is like maybe a two odd hook. And I just got them uh, knotless knotted on in line with each other. Sinkers above the baits. You know it's a good cast when it uh, throws you off balance and you almost fall down. <laughs> it's June 8th and it's that time of year when the channel cats are start doing their spawning and I think we might be done with the spawn here but I'm not sure I'm gonna check the water temp see what that tells me now this is just gonna be a reading of the water just right here next to the bank in three inches of water so it's not gonna be exactly what's gonna be out there in eight feet of water probably be a little bit cooler out there but uh, I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and uh, we'll see just based on what the water feels like you know, it feels like low, low to mid 70s, but uh, the reason I think that we might be, I think that we might be done with the catfish spawn is, or at least the females portion of the spawn anyway, uh, is that uh, yesterday I caught a 14 pound female channel cat. So, uh, you know, when the, when the channel cat behavior with their spawning, the, the female lays the eggs in a hole or a crevice somewhere, and then the male stays there and guards them until until that that process is done so if the females are out running around feeding i'm thinking that th that they're done with their part of the spawning of course it's possible that it hasn't even started yet but from what i know uh i think 70 around 70 degrees is the temperature when they when they start their spawn so if we're uh well over 70 then i think it's pretty safe to say that the, at least the females portion of the spawning activity is over and they might be out roaming around well, there's probably less male fish uh, roaming around looking for food, but uh, that's okay. I like catching those those big female channel cats. Yeah, so 73.2 in the in the water right here. So we're over 70. It's got to be right around 70 out there. So it's hard to know if the spawn the spawn's probably still happening as far as the females roll in that. But like I said, I caught a, a big female uh, breeder channel cat yesterday. I just had another big fish on the line. I don't know what that was though. So hopefully I can catch another one and uh, we'll, see, we'll see if it's a male or a female and see, see what my theory says. Pretty windy to be out in a little bitty boat like that. Driving right over my lines too. Not a care in the world.
Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Get in here. Gotcha. Ooh, that wave just tossed her right into the net. Okay, here we are. Pretty good size female channel cat. I'm not gonna weigh this fish. I'm guessing uh, seven, eight pounds. Belly, not very big. So uh, I think that the spawn is probably over. And uh, this fish feels nice and warm. And she's munching and she's looking pretty skinny. So it's a good sign. The males are probably still on the nest, but let's put this female back in. I already got my feet wet, so might as well just go out here. These waves are pretty crazy. All right, go, go, go. Thank you. Yeah, I thought for sure I had lost that fish because uh, just I got no no resistance on the line. But it was just swimming at me for a long time. That was a brand new fresh piece of bait that I had just tossed out. It was only in the water for less than five minutes. This wind is getting pretty crazy. I don't know how much longer I'm going to put up with this wind. Forecast says 10 to 15 miles an hour, so I guess old man weather didn't, didn't get the note. Fish on, fish on. It's about noon. I was just starting to eat my lunch. This feels like a good fish. Oh, it just broke the surface out there. It's kind of starting to think I've had about enough of this wind and waves here. We'll see. Pretty. Oh no! You're kidding me. Right at the bank. Right at the bank. Sharp rock. My hook is gone. Clean cut. And I just keep my uh, hooks and leaders pre-tied just for exactly things like this. All I got to do is. Uh, Run this through the end of the swivel. Run the hook through the loop. Pull it tight. Bam. We're back to fishing. It's so loud with the waves, I just, I just really can't hear anything. I just gotta kinda keep a pretty close eye on my rods. That's really disappointing to lose that fish right there close to the bank like that. That was a good fish too. Okay. <clears throat> We are back in business. No, 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 no. This fish swam towards me and I thought I lost him. I was starting to think I, maybe the title of this video should be How Many Fish Can I Lose in One Morning? I just thought I'd go ahead and say that, get that out of the way. Because I was thinking it. This fish is swimming in towards me. And I'm not going to bother with the net right now. I can't give this fish an inch. He's going to wrap it around a rock and do the same thing as the last time. This might be the same fish even. The cast is in the same place. Yep, big female channel cat. No, no, you're not even getting an inch. Okay, maybe one inch. Get in here. No, you don't. Mm. 
Gotcha. Big female channel cat number two. This one's got a little bit bigger belly than that uh, first one. But uh, I don't know if it's the same fish that I just lost or not. Probably not. They're out feeding. I think the spawn's over. I think it's safe to say. I might get a weight on this fish. I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing this is a 12 pound fish. Let's, let's find out. Well, I guess it's a 10 pound fish, nine and a half. Yeah, and they don't all spawn at the same time, but I mean, this one's pretty fat. It might, there might be eggs in there, I don't know. I don't really care that much as long as they come bite on my baits. <laughs> you ready? Bye bye, thank you. We've got a fish. Mm hmm. I was just baiting back up, and I heard a little jingle jingle. My pants are falling down. Yeah, it's another good channel cat. Littler guy. be a good keeper yeah another female channel cat you can tell by the color it's a young fish though still got spots I don't think this is a breeder back you go get bigger I was just getting ready to go I was just starting to pick up my stuff. I guess one more fish wanted to come say hi. I'm not complaining. Swimming at me, swimming at me. Swimming at me. Gonna put up a big fight when you get to the bank here. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, it's a big fish. It is a big fish. Yes. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. He's looking for a rock to snap it on. Get in there. Gotcha. Surprise, surprise. Another female channel cat. Here we go. Another five, six pound female channel cat. Biting on that uh, frozen shad. Springtime. Spawn bite. That's enough wind and waves for me for today. I think I'm gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. See you on the next one. We'll get bigger. See ya.